Hey guys, it's Phil. Wanted to talk to you today about something that the Lord had shown me yet again. Um, it has to do with testimonies. But first of all, I'd like everybody to pray that they end up receiving what God needs them to hear. And anything that um, they don't need to hear just falls harmlessly to the ground and they're able to move on with their Christian walk, following Jesus, and not man. Um, back to what I was saying about testimonies. So many times, I would go ahead and I would talk about the victories. And the victories are great. But when we leave out the tribulation... God had showed me it leaves an open door um, for Satan to come in and start to mess with it. It's not necessarily that I'm the one doing it, but because the door is open and I'm not closing it, therefore I can be responsible for it. Take it for what it's worth. But when I just talk about victories and I leave out tribulation, People don't understand the tribulation and they get a false impression of where I'm at um, or what happened. It allows Satan to go ahead and tell them that they're either not good enough sometimes um, because they're wondering why, why this stuff isn't happening to them and they're in their tribulation and they're praying as hard as they can and they're waiting for that breakthrough and believe me, guys, hang in there. Jesus will deliver that. But if I just come to you and say, well, hang in there and, you know, God showed me this and God did this for me and um, it's, it's so awesome and it, it gives people the impression that um, I'm good enough for God to do this for me and they're not. Now, you're not necessarily doing this on purpose, but Satan is taking it. He's so subtle, and he's twisting it, and you're allowing the open door there. The other thing that you're doing is you're not completely giving the glory to God. Now, what I'm saying by this is, when you talk about a victory, you should be talking about your tribulation because it gives a complete glory to him. You were in your muck, your mire, it was hard, and you're expressing that to people, how hard it was and how it felt. And when they hear of your victory then, when they're going through their tribulation, they can go, wow, God is powerful. He is awesome. It's not a scenario of, well, geez, Phil's getting to see all these miracles and stuff, and I'm not. And it makes them wonder where they're at once again in their Christian walk. Now, don't get me wrong. This can be definitely on the individual being deceived by Satan. But it's also on you guys for allowing it to happen. Um, I know I've done it. And it, it's... Uh, I guess it's nothing that I'm taking lightly anymore being that went, God went ahead and showed me this. Now, how I came about this, interestingly enough, like I said, I need to give that victory completely to God. He did this, and yes, he showed me, but he did it through someone else. There was a young lady that ended up sending me a, an email, and she had talked about how wonderful it was that God had delivered her and the understandings that she was getting and the relationship she was receiving with him, you know, by being with him, was awesome. But she went, f she went on further to go ahead and tell me that she grew up in an abusive home. She actually was on the streets for a while. There was plenty of sinning and stuff going on there, and I'm not going to get into detail about that, but... I got to see where she was from, 
and what she conquered through Jesus. And it occurred to me that I don't necessarily do that for people. Now, it could be my pride or it could be I feel I just don't have time to do it. But I like to thank, well, I hope it doesn't bother if I use your name, but I'd like to thank Stephanie for sending in that testimony. Because by doing so, it taught me something that I needed to learn. And I just, I thank Jesus for being able to have another spiritual sister. And I thank him for the lesson that he, you know, he taught me. Um, I think that's about it on that one, guys. Love ya. Have a blessed day. And um, once again, remember to go ahead and send in those testimonies, if not even for your sake, for sharing them. Um, as you've heard today, it's I learned something from them. Um, thank you, Jesus.